Pastor Ed here with Daily Devotions for Saturday, June the 8th, 2024. I've been talking about uh, aging, old age, uh, that process, if we're fortunate enough uh, to, make that, to make that journey. And it's important to put things into perspective. The um, story is told about a girl who went to college, but she just hated it. Told herself, if I can ever get out of college, get married, and have children, I know I'll finally be able to enjoy life. So she stuck with it. She went to class every day, finally graduated from college. Then she got married, had children, discovered the children are a lot of work. And she told herself, well, if I can just get these kids raised, then I'll be able to relax and really enjoy life. But about the time the kids were entering high school, her husband said, you know, we don't really have enough money to send the kids to college. I guess you're going to have to get a job. Well, she didn't want to, but she knew that he was right. They needed the money, so she went to work. She didn't like it, but she told herself, if I can just get these kids out of college and get all the bills paid, then I could quit work and really enjoy life. Finally, the last child graduated from college. All the bills were paid. She walked into her employer's office and said, I quit. And he said, oh, you don't want to quit now. If you stay with us just another eight years, you'll have a pension for the rest of your life. She thought, well, I don't want to really work another eight years, but there's all that money there, and I, I really can't turn down the opportunity. So she worked for another eight years. Finally, she and her husband retired at the same time. They sold their home, bought a little retirement cottage, and then they sat down on the swing on the front porch, looked at the family picture album, and dreamed about the good old days. As someone said, life is what happens to you while you're making plans to do something else. Golda Meir, who was the first prime, uh, female prime minister of Israel, once said this, old age is like a plane flying through a storm. Once you're aboard, there's nothing you can do. Can't stop the plane, can't stop the storm, can't stop time, so one might as well accept it calmly and wisely. But again, it's all about perspective. Someone once said, old age is not a disease, it's a strength. Uh, it is strength and survivorship. It's triumph over all kinds of vicissitudes and disappointments and trials and illnesses. Someone else said old age is a blessed time. It gives us leisure to put off our earthly garments one by one and dress ourselves for heaven. Blessed are they that are homesick, for they shall get home. And then there's a person who wrote this. I asked an older woman her secret one time, and she looked so young to me. She, she didn't look her age. And I said to her, can, can you tell me how you do it? Give me your secret. What, what's, what's the recipe? And, well, dear, she said, I, I really can't tell you. It's just that old age doesn't bother me. So perhaps that's my secret. We're as young as we want to be. I had a parishioner years ago whose goal, she never married. Uh, she had been a gym teacher in her working life. Um, and her goal was to, to make it to be 100 years old. Um, and she was a, a feisty lady. Um, I remember going to visit her once in the hospital. And it was, it was <laughs> kind of funny. She was in, in bed one, and there was another elderly woman in bed two. Um, this woman was in her 90s, late 90s at this point. The other woman, I think, was, you know, like in her, uh, well into her 80s. The funny thing about, thing about it is that the lady in bed two had been a high school gym student of the lady in bed one. Um, the lady in bed one um, made it to 100. Um, but then I sensed that having set that goal, um, there was a certain amount of drive um, that she didn't have anymore. Although, um, literally, um, the weekend that she died, I visited her on a Friday. And, and she always wanted to be doing something, always wanted to be active. Um, and so I found her in, in a chair um, outside, right next to the nurse's station. And in front of her was a pile of washcloths. And one by one, she folded them neatly and put, stacked them up. And when she, as I was talking to her, she worked through the entire pile. And what was left was this pile of perfectly folded washcloths. 
And the nurse said, oh, well, that's wonderful, great. And she took the stack um, and walked around the, 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 worst, the nurse's station behind this elderly woman that I was a parishioner that I was talking to. Um, and I noticed that she sat there and she just kind of dropped them on the counter and she messed them all up and unfolded them, in other words, and then brought the pile of unfolded washcloths that this woman had just folded brought them back around to her to work on again because she just wanted to keep her hands busy. She had that drive uh, to be active, to, to live, and that was on a Friday. Um, and I received word uh, that Sunday, she was 101 years old, that she had passed away. So it's all about how we look at it, <coughs> how we think of it, the perspective that we have. Someone said, I'll never be an old man. Because to me, old age is always 15 years older than I am. And the final thing I want to share with you is something that I sort of identify with <laughs> in a way. Somebody once said, a fellow by the name of Arlen Schaefer, <coughs> there are two things that would cause me to step away from the ministry. First one is losing my memory. And the second one is, well, I can't remember the second one. He said, that's probably the way it's going to be. Well, I hope that whatever age you're at, uh, whoever is listening, um, that you have some perspective on that. There are certain things that we lose as we age, but there's so much that we gain. Uh, and there's so much to, to look forward to, uh, especially as Christians, as we look forward to um, the life and the world to come on speed preaching about Revelation tomorrow. And there's wonderful passages there where death and dying and tears and crying and all those things uh, will be no more in that life in the world to come. And that is the hope and the promise of our faith. And on that positive note, we'll end up our daily devotions for this week. Hope you have a great day. Hope that you can join us. Just have the one service tomorrow at 930 and hope you can be with us in person. If not, uh, to watch the live stream, or if you can't, do either of those things to catch us uh, on our YouTube channel sometime uh, this coming week. Um, until next week with Daily Devotions, take care. We'll see you then. Bye.